What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nasher. Welcome back to the channel. And with the fallout from Clash of Champ from Clash of Champions last night, there is a lot to talk about. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how apparently Nia Jax is unhappy with with WWE. Uh, Angel Garza being is now injured after Clash of Champions. Um, NXT UK TakeOver Dublin has been delayed until next year. And how in the hell is CM Punk still under contract with Fox, with WWE and Fox? Like, how is that even possible? So let's kick things off with TakeOver Dublin being delayed. Originally, we were supposed to have had this event at the end of April, right after WrestleMania. But unfortunately, that did not come to pass. So shout outs to Benjamin so to Benjamin Richardson shout outs to him from from what culture excuse me for for this article as was re as was reasonably expected NXT, NXT UK takeover Dublin will not be happening in 2020 as Ireland continues to battle the pandemic according to a report by TPW insider WWE have made the decision to once more push the event back from its rescheduled date of of October 25th to June 20th, 2021. NXT UK's first major network show on the Emerald Isle has been set for April 26th this year before the burgeoning health crisis put a necessary halt on those plans. Or, or rather, to those plans. As of September 18th, Dublin was placed under Level 3 of the government... Uh, come of the government's restrictions. The third most severe level bans all indoor gatherings, a category under under which TakeOver falls. The setup in limitations was instigated in response to rising incidences of the virus. That's the only word, word I could say on, on YouTube at this point. Within the Irish capital. Given the situation, there was no possibility WWE could go ahead with a show in the city as early as next month. Though the date has changed, NXT UK TakeOver Dublin is still expected to be held at the 3 Arena with a kickoff time of 4 p.m. Obviously, the landscape of NXT UK will look very different, different by next June, so there are no matches currently penciled in. Yeah, so, well, Troop... Oh, okay, well, they're they're wrong. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, show, again, shout-outs to Benjamin Richardson. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, dude. You're wrong. Um, the only match that was scheduled to be... On Takeover Dublin was actually the match between Walter and Ilya Dragunov for the NXT United Kingdom Championship. That was the only match that they had set for the event, but because of the pandemic, that is no longer the case. Honestly, this really does this really doesn't surprise me, um, considering the fact that let me let me take a look. Let me take a look at what's going on in Ireland, considering the fact that. If I can, if it'll work, let me look up the, I want to look at something, I, I want to see in, I, I want to see about, about the current, like, like the, the current status. Of, of, of the pandemic in Ireland right now. Because I believe they've actually... Because as he said, they're now in level 3. Um, so right now... So right now in Ireland, they have, as of today, actually... As of today, uh, they have over 35,377 confirmed cases. They've, they've received another 3... They have that. That's how many they have right now. Um, one thousand eight hundred two uh, deaths, which is sadding, which is very very sad. With only twenty four thousand recovered. Ooh, that is a lot. That's a lot. That's actually a lot. Um, to be honest. That is so crazy. That is crazy. 
But yeah, honestly, this really doesn't surprise me. I know that PW Insider has actually um, has had had issued had said that. Hang on, my phone. Likes to show me shit that I don't need. Anyway, yeah, this really, really doesn't surprise me. I'm not, I don't think that, I don't really think we're going to have, have any takeovers for NXT UK, but if they do have, but they, if, if they do get, get a takeover, it'll most likely take place at the BT Sports Studio in London. It'll most likely be that, and it'll be NXT UK TakeOver London, which that's the only thing that that could be a possibility. I know I, I know that there are some uh I I know that there are a few superstars in NXT UK who um who actually live across the pond from 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 the UK in Ireland. I know that Jordan Devlin is one, Eva Valkyrie is the, is another, Kaylee Ray is another, Piper Niven, Tony Storm uh, just to name 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 a few, actually. Um, yeah, so this this again, I'm not too I'm not too surprised. I know that it's sad, sad that we're not that we're not gonna get any that we're not gonna get takeover Dublin until next year. But it is it is what it is. Hopefully, though, the cases will go down enough for them to host takeover before the end of the year. Of course, too, I am not holding holding my breath on that one, but it is very sad. Uh, we do know that that. That Walter is scheduled to defend the his title against Dragonov, but it's gonna be a while. It is going to be a pretty good while. All right, you guys. Now, Angel Garza is injured. Um, he was injured during Clash of Champions last night, and according to And according to Andy Murray from from Wall Culture for for re, for writing the article, it says here Angel Garza was injured while teaming with with, with Andrade to face the Street Profits at Clash of Champions last night. PW Insider has reported. Um, Garza was seen laboring on the mat after taking a knee strike from Montez Ford. Um. And apparently, someone has sent out a tweet saying that saying that it looks like Angel Garza uh, messed up his leg or knee up. Odds are, it could pot. It's it's most likely the knee. It's most likely the knee. Um, hang on. Let me take the. Let me take a look at the video because. Yeah, it kind of it kind of looks like the knee. Judging by the, by the video that that was posted on that Twitter on that Twitter uh, on on that tweet, it looks it looks like it it, it was his knee. Um, PW Insider quickly reported that the former NXT Cruiserweight Champion was was undergoing a backstage medical examination, confirming the injury as legitimate, not worked. The referee could be seen. Throwing up the dreaded X symbol shortly after Garza went down, and staff tended to him after the bell. In a follow-up report, the same outlet stated that while Garza is yet to undergo another evaluation, WWE believes that the injury wasn't isn't as serious as originally thought, and that the issue relates to his hip, not his quad, as was originally speculated. The Raw Tag Team Title Bell was also mared by what looked like a botched finish. Angelo Dawkins hit Andrade with a slam and went for the cover. The former United States Champion appearing to kick out at two. The referee, the referee called for the bell anyway, sparking confusion with the announcers agreeing on the mistake. Um. So yeah. So that was something that I had that I had mentioned last night in my in. In my Clash of Champions result video, which you guys can check out, it was the previous video. Um, it looked like as if that was a bad judgment call on the referee. And what's interesting is that with some referees, especially those who have been or who have been in WWE for a long for a while, 
it is very rare that they would make mistakes. Make mistakes like I know, like I know that Mike Yoda, who was one of the uh, victims of the dreaded WWE Black Wednesday, which I had mentioned, which I did a video on all the way back in June. I, I believe it was like back in June, um, which you guys can can check out. Um, he rarely makes any, any 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 mistakes in his entire career as a WWE official. He has barely he's rare he really ma makes mistakes but when he does make a mistake it's on him it's on him he always takes the blame for it that's 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 the kind of man he is and honestly though honestly if if Garza is if the injuries that Garza sustained is bad then he's most likely going to have surgery either that or he's going to be taking some time some time off to rehab the knee and then when the knee is ready to go, he can he'll 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 be able to come back. But I think tonight on Raw we could see um, we could see um, we're we're most likely going to see what his condition is and also whether or not they're going to get a rematch for the titles. Because if you guys saw Clash saw Clash of Champions last night, he was. Garza and, and, and Andrade were on their game. They were on. They they were game. They were one hundred percent game. They had. They were literally this close from becoming Raw Tag Team Champions. And I mean, they. I mean, I. I mean, they do have a legitimate claim. I, literally, they have. They have a claim that that match was, as this article says, botched. So. We will see what happens tonight on Raw. I'm not so sure what what they're gonna what WWE management will do, but we'll see. Alright, you guys. Alright, you guys. Now I'm gonna be talking about Nijax being unhappy with the WWE. Let's take a look at that article, shall we? There you are. No. There we go. Nia Jax unhappy with WWE with a question mark. Is it a possibility? Is it a possibility? We shall see. So shout outs to Andy Murray once again for this article. Nia Jax isn't happy about the way WWE handled the cancellation of her and Shayna Baszler's women's tag team title match with the Riot Squad at Clash of Champions. Uh, Dave Meltzer reports on, on the Wrestling Observer Radio. Post Wrestling's John Pollock reported yesterday that Jackson ba that the match had been pulled from the event the, the event of, along with Bailey versus Nikki Cross. WWE covered this on on the Clash of Champions kickoff show with Charlie Caruso, claiming claiming Jax Baszler and Cross weren't medically cleared to compete. And Nia Jax tweeted saying lies. That's it, just lies. They he Jax retweeted uh, the WWE from a post from the WWE on Fox official Twitter page, saying just one word: lies. Um, per Meltzer, the irresistible force is legitimately really mad about WWE pushing this as the reason for her missing the show. He added that one or two of Cross, of Cross Jackson Baszler had come to had come into contact with somebody suffering from from the pandemic, hence their removal. There is no indication that any that any of the superstars have contracted the virus themselves. WWE knew that these battles wouldn't be able to go ahead as early as last Friday, but chose to market them all the way through. Through Sunday, regardless, with Cross absent from the pay per view, Bailey ended up working a short match with Oscar instead. So one thing, so one thing that I that I want to mention is that is that when it comes to Dave Meltzer, Nia Jax will just completely decimate him. When it, she will verbally decimate Dave Meltzer, and there were and there was an article. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it was from this website, What Culture, or, for, or, for, or if it was from Wrestle Talk. But someone, but there was an article saying that WWE, that that the wrestling world would be better off without Dave Meltzer. Honestly, j honestly, honestly, given given the fact that most of his news, 
that he brings to the table, whether in it, whether it's on his newsletter or on the radio, he ends up bullshitting. So that could be. I mean, I mean, there. I mean, there is there is a claim to that, but honestly, I'm not so sure if what they said last night on on the kickoff show was was the case. But um, but supposedly. Uh, but but supposedly, I believe Nia Jax, to the best of my knowledge, and from the reports that I that I read on several other sources, apparently Nia Jax is going to address it tonight on Raw. I really don't I really don't 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 see, don't see that happening. Maybe the commentators might 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 talk more about that on on Raw tonight. But it is it it is a possibility. But Nia Jax just saying lies. I. Believe it. I believe it. I think they were just trying to cover something up. I think they were trying to not 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 cover something up, but just keep but just ensure that the that the match between the Ryan Squad and Jackson Baszler does go through at some point. And and as far as Nikki Cross goes, I I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. But if the but if the pandemic is the reason that those three women were pulled out from Clash of Champions. I do hope that they are okay. Um, but who knows? Who knows what will happen? But maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll find something out tonight on Raw. Who knows? All right, you guys. Now the big question here is: How in the hell? How in the hell is CM Punk still contracted with WWE? Even though. Hang on, thank you. Even though WWE, the even though the show WWE backstage is done. Well, if I can go to it, if I can actually go to the fucking article. Thank you, finally. So shout outs to Andy Murray once again for this article. CM Punk remains under contract with Fox despite the cancellation of WWE backstage on which he was a regular guest. The man himself revealed this during a Twitter Q&A session on Sunday. Nope, still here. Debuting in November 29 debuting in November 2019, WWE Backstage was a Booker T Renee Young hosted WWE studio show airing late on Tuesday nights with Punk joining other regular correspondents, Christian Page, Ember Moon, and others. Punk's debut on the show brought reports that his contract was Sir No, no. Get the fuck off. Give me my Okay, seriously, these ads need to stop. These ads need to stop. I swear these ads need to fucking go away. <sighs> Punk's debut on, on the show brought reports that his contract was, in, was with the network, not WWE itself. Snuffing out hopes that the former voice of the voiceless would make a long-awaited return to WWE. Punk wasn't afraid to be critical of WWE during his run on the show, which lasted until production halted this past June. The series is yet to be revived, despite Fox's suggestion that it was only being canceled on a weekly basis and may resurface on a less frequent schedule. The Twitter Q&A also saw Punk touch upon a number of other topics, including, including Io Shirai, In, in, in which, in parentheses, it says, I, I hear she's neat. Asuka, in parentheses, I, hear, I think she's neat. And Wrestling the Shield at TLC 2013, having attended a wedding the, the same day. WWE made it too stressful when easier solutions were presented months ahead of time. Punk said. But that's what they do. So, as to... So, I'll, no. I don't... 
Thank you. So, as far as whether or not we could see CM Punk back in WWE, it is a very high, high possibility, considering the fact that can, can, considering the fact that he had the, he has a contract with Fox, we could see him on SmackDown, which is a possibility because SmackDown is 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 with Fox. That is a possibility. We we could see him do commentary. We could see him on Talking Smack, which is a possibility. But at the same time, but at, at but at the same time, it's hard to predict whether or not we will we we will see it. But if we do, but if he does, um. If he does, you know, be a, be a, join the join the SmackDown roster, not only will his Twitter blow up, but so will WWE's official Twitter page, and so will the viewership, the ratings of SmackDown. It'll just blow up. It'll blow up because everybody wants CM Punk to return to WWE, and everybody wants to find out. What CM Punk will be capable of should he come back? Should he come back to SmackDown again? It is a very high possibility, but it's not. It's not likely that that he'll that he'll show up. But of course, that is his decision. Guess I, I guess we'll find out in 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 the foreseeable future. But as far as his contract, honestly, I really don't know what he'll do. Um, I honestly don't know what. <sighs> Excuse me. What he'll do? Um, uh, with his contracts, but we will find out. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Question of the day. Uh, what could be the question of the day? Right, you know what? I got it. Question of the day. Do you with with CM Punk still under contract with WWE slash Fox? Do you want CM Punk on SmackDown? Or on Raw? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. And that is going to do it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel. And you guys love seeing these news videos for WWE and for Yu-Gi-Oh. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell. So you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All three of my links, both of my Twitters and my one Instagram, the links are down in the description below. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.